Welcome back to our new quadrant and new experiments and buildings and such. I've been playing a little bit off camera, as you can see I got a little bit built here. I actually recorded another s oh, ouch, another s um, session, but it's kind of crappy, so I just tossed it. Um, I was just kind of misleading with that thing here gonna build something out here but this is what I actually have built um, I think the underground section is kind of nicer um, there have been a couple of patches that have come out and one of them is for this dirt that doesn't turn into grass um, originally our portal was down there pretty much exactly where that bridge is now um, I did build part of this on camera, but it was kind of long and slow and didn't look good. So I scrapped that footage, because it was like half an hour. Um, I kind of like how these rooms turned out though. Uh, especially the... Well, I just haven't done anything for the roof yet. Um, but this is kind of just a um, side project. This is going to be a kind of stables area thing, I'm not really sure. Because the main reason I started building over here was because it's becoming night. No, it was because we found lots of horses on our exploration trip. So I gathered up a whole bunch of them and I brought them over here so that we actually have uh, a decent stock and selection now, although I have no idea what most of their abilities are. At least I can make some more mules and donkeys now, because I got at least two donkeys here. Um, oh yeah, the way I uh, built their little pen here... Yeah, there's the other one. Um, it's getting night. Oh wait, all that cobblestones for something. Um, what I did here was I put fences in a couple strategic spots, and I, uh-oh, there should be a second block there. Let's steal you. I think an enderman must have taken it or something. Yeah, there we go. Um, because horses can just walk up one block, and in any animal can jump up a block, but two blocks they can't get over uh, by themselves, so wherever I don't have fences I have it at least two blocks high for the entire kind of rim of the uh, uh, pasture area. Of course, if an enderman could come along and totally screw this up, but yeah, see? It's all even up there. Like, they can get up that high, but then that's as far as they can get. Pretty sure. If I ever find horses outside, I'll have to do, like, a search around. Hi. You dead? Oh, yeah. I also built a little... Uh, I don't know how that looks. I haven't actually had a look at it yet. Supposed to be a little gazebo type thing, because uh, this other building on the other side goes up to the top of the cliff, and then I want kind of a viewing area. But don't think that turned out very well. Um, I do kind of like how the insides of this looked. Just trying to do some building with the new stone, because I haven't really seen much with it yet. Oh, and I have two platforms, and then I use a, this rock for a path up here. Goes around, comes down to this. Well, from up here, it doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, but this is just kind of a staging ground, and I guess you could say. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Car goes zooming by. Hi. 
hate loud vehicles so much. I'm not a busy, well, decently busy intersection. So there's uh, there's one truck in particular that when it takes a turn that goes around the corner and it starts to like it, like accelerates too much even though there's like a stop sign just down the road like not very far and it's just like so noisy um, but I was uh, of, uh, started a branch mine down there so I've been uh, mining up partly to get cobblestone because I'm actually low on cobblestone I've also got all of this from it as well so I've been having a pretty good uh, um, pretty good haul from strip mining. I've been doing it in kind of this new area because then I get these uh, new types of rock stuff and such too. The diorite and andesite and granite. Um, oh yeah, I got that stuff there. Uh -huh. Wait, how much how are those boots? They're good for a little bit still. Alright. So, what I've actually been working on is I think was it last episode that we went and did the underwater temple? I think so. I can't remember. Yeah, we did exploring and the underwater temple, I think. Um, and so... did that one, but then I did another one off camera. Well, why does it look so... Oh, it's showing me the... All of the pockets of lava. Oh, jeez. That was kind of looks cool, actually. Um, so I found another one. Now I found another two. I've actually completed the map and taken it back to the main base. The quartz base. But um, I'm, having re I'm having really bad lag issues there, so I don't think I can record over there. Even though I want to do some building over there. Um... And so I started setting up a place. Um, so I've started demolishing and building a farm. Because these guardian guys, wherever they are, there's one, um, actually give you materials to like build building blocks and lights. These prismarine shard er, crystals, the shards, and they also give you fish, both edible fish and the puffer fish. So not only does it give you a building uh, resource, it also gives you food. So that, um, I'm not sure what the recipes are for them yet. Uh, I could look it up, but. I don't remember. Just put those in there. Uh, but it is really difficult to do stuff with them around. Um, so I have uh, Aqua Affinity and Respiration on that and the Depth Strider. That one. And so this is the first area I've kind of got mostly finished. You know, I need to get these. Let's get these. Let's just put those in there too. Don't need all of this right now. There we go. Got a lot of lumber because I'm going to need to make lots of signs. Um, what I initially, well, I kind of split this into quarters first. So I had this uh, built this kind of platform in the middle of the temple, and then I built it into quarters, and then I focused on this one first. Like, uh, this one is probably the next closest to completion, but it's not yet. Um, this corner, this quadrant, actually has, uh, is completely, um, the temple's completely taken out. I've been putting all the loot over in these two chests. Um, and so I just had it like these big square quadrants, and then I was like, that's going to be really hard to work with. So then I quartered it some more, and then I was like, that's still pretty hard to work with, especially with these buggers. Um, and then I quartered it some more, and then I made these uh, small things. And I think this was the first one I did. 
um, and I kind of did it bef did that in this one and this one before I actually realized that they kind of float to the bottom on their own so I don't really need to do anything special to get them down there because like I was doing it like um, oh god um, two blocks of water and then signs to make a uh, air block and then uh, make another airspace and two blocks of water and just so that to like help them fall down oh no um, um, but yeah don't need that because they'll just fall to the bottom on their own anyways um, so I've set this basic thing up let's get these guys out of here ow no they shot me Sometimes you can't see it when they see you. Um, basically, I just have a barrel set up. So it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh. I don't even have it fully set up yet. Um, I want it to be able. I mean, like, I don't even have fully, like, some of these are still, many of them are still, um, blocked off. Over half of them are still blocked off. Um, and I can say it was interesting to build this. And when they fall down here, they, well, I'm going to put water in here to direct their flow a little bit more, and then also seal this up. But, uh... Where was I going with this? Um, yeah, so I end up figuring out that I don't need to make uh, make it into smaller quadrants. I just need to be able to have things like this, basically. This is probably the most efficient one. I don't really like how this one <laughs> turned out. I kind of tried a couple different ways. Um, oh yeah, let's go down there to get the stuff. Not sure how I'm going to completely uh do this yet for starters i'm just going to have yeah look at what happens when they get out of the water they just bounce around everywhere and they can still shoot you there we go certainly better to kill them with the sword and as you can see ran into a mine shaft down here so Oh good! No 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 no! Ow, you son of a! You don't get damage if you hit him with a bow. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! They hit so hard. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to do. But if they're bouncing around. Ouch. No! No! Ah, oh, you got away. Um, anyways. Let's go up. I wanted to use these sponges with you. Just because they're pretty cool. Oh. Um, so I have a central tower. Go oh, no, no, no. Where I have to still use, um, uh, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> every once in a while. But this one section's complete, so let's just... What is this? Oh, it's just... Okay, the bottom there. Let's see how much this uh, clears out. Put one here. Holy crap. And that cleared out all of there. Impressive. That gives me wet sponges. planning on using that for some of the bottom. Heh, this will make my trip up and down a bit safer. So I'm gonna hollow out this. So how far down can I go? It's like five blocks, I think? Two, three, four, five? Maybe? No, maybe let's try four. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh goodness gracious. Oh god. Should be 
be a little bit more careful. There's some back there. Yowza! They do the trick. This is so much, such an easier way to get rid of water. Okay, I did pick that up. And pop. Um, I have run into a bit of. trouble with my fish farm here. Um, oh, the, oh, more I ran out of resources and these guys are super annoying when you're trying to do something. Um, they do a lot of damage. Eh. Oh no, oh god, oh god, so many. Whew. Didn't get hit there. Um, yeah, so basically just dealing with that and trying to do stuff underwater while they're getting a bead on you. Oh no. If you get close enough to them, they'll stop. Um, or if something blocks their target lock. Sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they just ignore you. I like it when they do that, but it still scares me. Because they could, yeah, yeah, they can turn on you at any moment. Um, but basically, this ground was higher than the water level than the ground everywhere else. So I'm going to have to use the sponges down here, too, to make a space. Um, I'm going to do some more work on this off-camera. Yeah. And we'll be back in a bit. And we are back with some progress. Um, I'm not actually sure how much progress I've made. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I finished clearing this out of water. And then I've got one half approximately... Oh god. Felt like I was almost fell there. Um, finished. Um, so... What I've got is... Somehow I managed to... Do that one higher than this one, so it's kind of messed up, but it should still be okay. And then I have, oh yeah, I have a. So, oh wait, how am I going to? Basically, I have a couple of funnels. Oh, I have a hard time getting to that, but I don't actually have them going into it yet. Yeah. Oh. Why is there no water on that one? There should be water on that one too. That's odd. Do you have buckets? Okay, good, I have two buckets. It's the buckets I need. Um oops. Uh, I know you're not there. Oh goodness. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, I can see the entire match of the world. Hi. There we go. That's not good. It's part of the uh, new patch. Yeah. Doesn't seem right. Oh yeah. Because I have the water there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's eight. Um Oh no, don't shoot me. So let's get this working then. How are we gonna do that? I'm gonna do it by
Hey, where are you coming from? Is it too deep? Wait, what's where's this water coming from? Uh oh, I feel like something's wrong. Oops. Ow. Nope. Die. Why didn't that hit you? There you go. Uh-huh, why are you... Ow! That should not be like that. Okay, this one isn't... This should be three, uh-huh. Although it doesn't matter that much, I suppose. As long as it's big enough for them to fall down. But I'd prefer to have it one back further. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna be fixed this. Be right back. Alright, one side open and hopefully operational. Let's go fix up the other side. That was more work than it should have been to fix. I don't know why it was broken. Um, where's the hole in this one? Oh, right there. Um, do you hear that? Where? Get rid of all of these ones. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, no. Go 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 go! Out out of here! Oh, no 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 no! Go go go! Shoo shoo shoo! Oh no, that's not the right one. Da, da, phew. Okay, good, it's fixing itself. And my pick should last. Jump down. Jump down, you f Oh, okay. This is the other one, a little bit neater looking than <laughs> the first one. I did some learning. Now to see what... Uh oh, where's my exit? Eh. I don't really want to fall down where they're going. If you know what I mean. So, oh goodness gracious. Okay, I didn't know if they'd be able to survive. So how is it? Oh goodness. That's here comes one. No. No. E. There we go. Huh. They are stronger than I thought. Well I knew they were strong, but so I need to increase the drop. Either that, or I just have a barrel down there. Oh, that should be one hit kills down there, actually. Or maybe this is perfect. Because I did want to be able to kill them so that I had a... Uh, get experience from them. Oh, I know why they're going down there now. Hey! Now a lot... Oh, and they're taking a little bit more fall damage. 
I should perhaps block this off a little bit more. I kind of want to put a window there. But first I need glass over here. At least I should be able to... Oh, they kind of go slower down the ladders. Are they actually trying to climb the ladders? Uh-oh. pool over there. Hey. Okay, I need to make some place for them to stay well, after I pick this up. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. Oh yeah. Oh. Thought I was going to get some more levels there. Uh, oops, missed my turn. Hey. Oh. Oh, that's why. Because there's lava underneath. Actually, let's... So glad that. Well, if I could hit it, there we go. There we go. Now I can work in peace and quiet. Oh, you didn't die. There we go. I can hear them up there, though. Okay, I'm gonna. Ooh, gonna spend some time cleaning this out. Try and get up a set up a killing chamber here. All right, let's try this now. Just kind of set up a hole for them, hopefully that they can't get out of. Actually, well, let's try. Oh goodness gracious! Oh goodness! Too many. That. Apparently have an efficient machine or farm. Holy moly! It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> Except it really is. Holy crap! shooting me, which is a great thing. And so, some of it got stuck up here, and looking for, oh yeah, give me the experience. But some of the items still get stuck up there too. And what I need is hoppers. I can't kill them from underneath there though. And I have enough fair number of experience levels. Can you fall in between? No, I don't think so. Let's close that back up for now. And of course, if I kill them with a sword, I could take damage, but well, that's only if they have their needles, or whatever you want to call them. How much stuff did I get from that? Stack of those. Half stack of fish. Well, some of those I had beforehand. Hmm. A lot of prismarine crystals. Excellent. I like it. Alright, so... Let's... Get some... Actually, I'm going to clean this up a bit more off-camera and we'll be back. So already, this thing is working quite well. Um, I'm going to have to stop using it for a while, 
Uh, well, I've only used it a little bit. I can see how my... Oh, jeez. I hate their thorns. Spikes. Just been using a little... Already got a full stack of that. Bunch of fish. But, um... As you can see, I just threw some hoppers underneath and connected them to the chest. And that means that lets me harvest automatically, which makes a lot more sense. Plus they can't generally shoot me from back here. And then if I want the experience I can just run up here. And it comes through the corner. But I think we can still make this a little bit better. Plus make it um, a little bit... Uh oh. How's my bow? Oh, it's gonna die soon. Yeah, I have to go repair stuff. Um, and if... Yeah, there you go. Like, my pickaxe and this bow... Oops. Um, and then we can clean this up quite a bit more, I think. Sometimes... I'm not sure. It, sometimes it feels like lava is killing them. Or, well, lava and the fall damage and such. It might be a little too far. Eh, I think it's okay. Ouch. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut again, and then we're gonna clean this up. And perhaps I'll have the other ones connected to it by then, too. Maybe. Oh, it's thunder, of course. I didn't actually intend to come in here, but now that I'm in here, I have to kill them before I get out. Um, I was just about to start recording anyways again to show what I've come up with. Although, I'm actually going to change this again because I found it isn't working as I would like it to. Because as far as I know... Ouch. As long as they're moving, you can hit them with a sword and not take damage. But... There we go. Now I can get out. Eh. And close it back up. Oh, my inventory is full, isn't it? Look, oh no. Yeah, and nah, I have water up there. As I'll show you what I've done um, somehow. So that's the landing pad, and but they don't bounce around on their damn trucks. Yeah, as soon as they get into the water stream here, it puts them out. So that means that sometimes they're not one-hit kills. Um, if they bounce immediately into the water. So. Although this is a wonderful XP getting machine. Um, as well as food and building materials. So what I've decided is I want to only decorate down here with the stuff that I get from this. Well, and except for things that I have to use like that. But I'm gonna remove this entire section and just put a killing chamber here because I thought that if I could move them and then put them into a little area like this where they're in flowing water that they would move ouch and then I'd be able to use my sword on them but they don't they don't have enough space so maybe maybe if I make it bigger Actually, 
But I'm kind of at the limit of my space anyways right now. Hmm. Let's put you in there too. And you. Uh, if I give them a little bit more space, Maybe make like an eight long chamber. Oops. Maybe just make it single. No, because they have a e. E, I don't know. But anyways, why did I actually move it away from there? Maybe. Uh, important block. Oh, that's important block too. Oh, that's why. Okay, I get it. Cause I have the water back one. I didn't have enough space before the ladder. I can strain that way. Hmm. Oh yeah, because I shot one over here. That's right. Although, and if I. If I also make the killing chamber directly underneath where they drop, I might be able to get some squid sacks as well. Hmm. What to do? <laughs> oh, uh oh. There we go. Ah, okay, I'm gonna come back after one more time to finish off after I figure out what I'm exactly I'm doing here. And I think I finally got a system figured out here that works pretty well. I just got another idea. Get out of the way. There we go. There! Haha, -ha, that's cool. Guess I'll leave the buttons on the other side too. Um... I could, no, no, I'll put the buttons on. Um, so I put... Oh, uh, let's see. Go back here. Um, just demolish the old thing. And then I started building and decorating with what we'd acquired from killing the guardians. So start down here and eventually kind of expand out using just materials, well, just from them and then whatever I can get from uh, squids, because the squids, I'm not actually sure if they can get out of that or not. I think they can't, I'm pretty sure they can't, because the uh, fences are a block and a half high. I haven't actually experimented with that yet. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to shoot through it. I haven't actually checked this um, thing out. There we go. Yeah, that works pretty good. Um, and then the plan is to have the water bucket in this one and then push the button and that gives them something to swim in which makes them a little bit calmer. But it does let them Let's take that away. I don't like you guys getting not damaged by the oops. Apparently I just pushed that button. It's hard to hit the button when they're all in there. I must just did it by accident. Um, and so what the lava does on that side 
finishes off killing them and then the, the hopper still managed to pick up a lot of the drops. So I've been up mining for a while and my pick's almost broken so I need to go repair it. Fortunately I have lots of levels to do it with. <laughs> wow. um, so I'm kind of wondering what uh, type of drops we got. And of course I'm adding to it right now. Um, but I kind of left this alone for a while. Um, so let's see what we got. Well, that's a decent amount, actually. This is not at full efficiency yet, but it's going to get there. So I'm putting fish over here, raw fish. I've got two furnaces already going, and I've already got a bunch more fish over here. And I've been putting the materials and stuff I get from it over here. And I have a lot of these prismarine crystals. Because, I don't know, I actually went out and killed some ink or squids to get that so that I can make these dark bricks. Because, yeah, the three recipes are, let's just take them all. I don't, know, I don't think I showed this earlier. So you can do full to make prismarine bricks. Just for a 2x2 two two for the prismarine. And then the crystals in an cross with these filling up the other ones makes the sea lanterns so I'll have a lot of those and then to make the um, dark prismarine is ink in the middle um, wish it would give me a little bit more than just one block for all of that but hey it's oops it's a pretty good deal, actually. Let's make up some more materials. Do do do. And we'll just put the rest back for now. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of these crystals. Um, and I suppose I did use glass for this side. I was using fences from the mine shaft. But when I put the lava out, they all kind of burned up and everything got everywhere. So, let's just look at that experience. Did I get it? Must have. And that's... So I emptied it all out, and look at it. Yeah. Even though there's lava there, the, uh, the hoppers still pick it up. Maybe some of them burn, but... Eh, still a way to have it automatically do it, and especially when I don't want experience or something. Um, of course, some of them kind of fall onto the chests and don't get picked up too. So if I stand here, I pick up stuff as well. Not sure why. I feel like that's a flaw or something. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, I not fit those in. Ooh, ooh, hold. Okay, that looks good for the moment. Oh, I don't have any coal. Oh well. Um, I want to do a little bit more decorating on camera, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing. Oh. I can finish this path off probably. Just so I have a. Do I have enough? I'm not going to have enough. And noisy trucks. Because these ones take so much. But let's see. I feel like. I don't know. And we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to work on this more. The next episode we're going to be back at a main base because we can actually uh, be there now. Because the, uh, they fix whatever... Uh oh Let's not break that. Uh, because they fixed whatever was wrong. 
with the uh, the frame rate, so it's working a lot better there now. So we're going to be there next time. Uh, Ta-ta for now. Bye!